All right, leaving the resort now. Um, we had a great time with uh, Cody and Don. Their hospitality was awesome. Um, it's gonna be a rough day today. We got some thunderstorms rolling through, uh, but you know, just gotta live with it. Um, we had to do 11 miles to Muskrat Creek Shelter. We're excited to get back out on the trail. So, we'll see you out there. We just got dropped off by uh, Cody back on trail. Super Ooh. excited. Until the rain comes. Again, I'm going to say it. Two days is too long. The mountains are calling. <laughs> She'll disagree. When it starts raining. Yeah. But, yeah, let's uh, get going and hopefully we can uh, see some stuff before the storms roll in. So for the Blue Max family out there, um, no, Cody didn't bring Blue with him. It's the first time they ever had to board him. The resort wouldn't uh, allow him to uh, bring his dog there, so yeah. But, you know, since, um, he took uh, Blue to Germany with him. Blue's his dog, by the way. Um, he took Blue with him to, to Germany, and so he's seen like over 36 countries now. Cody's got pictures of him with like the Leaning Tower and Matterhorn and all these really cool places. Super funny. It's he's like a huge husky and Cody's like picking him up in each of the photos and uh, he has like tongue hanging out like he's smiling it's super funny but yeah if anybody was wondering where Blue was at aka Denali So looking looking back at these uh, these last two days, uh, it reminds me of like how we got to do a bunch of stuff in Helen. Uh, this time, like I was able to fix my phone or get a new phone, I guess, transfer all the data, um, and uh, you know while we were out and about those those days, like we. We got to see the Trahalita, which you'll see you see in the previous video. We got to see the Trahalita uh, grave and place a stone on it, which was something that we had wanted to go see, but we were gonna have to like drive back up north after the trail. Um, and then uh, we we stopped by uh, Neil's Neil's Gap again. I wanted to show you guys. Um, what what we had missed with the lost lost footage, um, which you all seen last video. But just just getting to do a lot of things in the, the two two days that you're stuck in town, it ends up feeling like a week still. <laughs>
<laughs> we made it. Thanks, uh, thanks for the hospitality, Georgia. One state down, 13 more to go. Thanks for uh, sending us off with a bang. Yes, this is understood. So we are at Black Gap, and here is the famous tree. I hope you guys can see it. It's raining really from there. But the trail goes on either side. The tree's right in the middle. So yeah. Ooh. Before, right before we got to our last um, large mountain for the day. We're about a quarter of the way or halfway up it. it started lightning so we quick t quickly turned around um, and went back down and uh, what? It wasn't very far. Yeah we it was like <clears throat> A three minute sprint back down. We set up the tent, just kind of took shelter with the main storm passing through. Um, as you can see, it's still really, really bad right now. Uh, well, I wouldn't say really bad. Take that back. It's just really windy and windy and uh, we're we repacked every the tent and everything got back up um, and we're, we're probably about a mile out from the shelter now so we don't know if we're gonna stay in the shelter try to dry everything out that we can or just reset it up but we just felt that uh, like we looked at the, the weather and the, the main storm had already passed us so we felt it'd be safer to just get to the shelter and hunker down there for the night. So we'll see you in a bit. The shelter is like completely full too, so but we're almost set up. Gonna grab something to eat and then probably call it for the night. Mm -hmm. 